guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel in today's video i will be installing sensational butter lace in unit 16 um here i am just showing you my wendy's kids meal bracelet because yeah i'm just that cool um i won't be doing the bottle cap method i'll just be you know doing the whole like cap I won't be like gluing it down or anything. That's what the um, ball cap method is, if y'all didn't know. This is the wig, the butter lace unit wig in, you know, unit 16. Um, what was I doing there? Trying to do like a side part or something, something, something. Um, as you can see, the wig does have a little sheen to it, but it like kind of, it looks natural. Like it looks like kind of ish. Um, personally, I think this wig looks really black compared to me. Like, it just looks really black. Like, I got the color in 1B. Um, so I'm using this lace glue to glue down the side berms and glue down the perimeter of the face. This video isn't going to be that long because I'll just be gluing down the wig, um, adding some edges and just kind of doing whatever, whatever. Um, so I'll let you guys just enjoy this. So I have spread out the glue and now I will be adding got to the glue down like spike gel um, onto the rest of my face um, where I did not put the glue and then I'll put multiple layers of got to be on top of the already dry glue to really get everything to stick because I have already worn this wig before this was my birthday wig and it's been a couple months since I've worn it and I don't know if you can see right there but the lace has torn a little bit and so i think this will be the last time i wear this wig because it has been probably worn four to five times now um or maybe three three to two yeah two to three times i've worn this wig and um i tore the lace the second time so i'm trying to um play it safe and just not do anything too crazy so i will probably not be installing this wig um ever again but it's gotten its use out of it just r.i.p the lace um yeah but i'm um, here i am just sticking down the lace and you know getting it all stuck and structured into the skin melting it as one would say Okay, to melt the legs even further, I put down this elastic band. I'm sorry for the quality change here. I was filming on Snapchat because I wanted to listen to my music and film at the same time, which is why it's so poor quality here. R.I.P. man. Yeah, anyways, back to good quality because I could not do the whole Snapchat thing. But look at the way the brush is just going through the hair. Like, this hair doesn't even really knot. And I don't know if y'all could tell, but the texture, I wouldn't really say yakky texture. But, like, it's it's like a, it's fluffy. Like, it's a fluffy, straight hair texture. It doesn't really tangle that much. There, it, The wig has layers to it. So, as long as you get rid of the ends. Because I, I have, like, um, I, wouldn't, I haven't washed this wig, I don't think. I think I have. Yeah, I think I washed this wig and the ends kind of got like frayed a bit because y'all know when y'all wash synthetic wigs, the ends get frayed. So as long as you like continuously cut off any frayed ends, but like don't cut too much of the length off because then at that point you might as well own a bob wig, right? But um, yeah, so as long as you maintain your wigs, they shouldn't really tangle much. And this wig rarely tangles. I'm telling you, rarely tangles. I can do the most horrendous thing to this wig and it rarely tangle but um yeah and in these clips i've just been separating the edges away from the perimeter of their face um so i can get them ready to cut and lay down tying up the hair back so it's out of my way 
I sprayed some Tresme Hold Hairspray on the perimeter of the hairline of the wig so that it can um, all lay away from the edges so I can, you know, have like no flyaways as I guess you can say in my face while I'm trying to do this and also to better um, melt the lace into the skin which the hairspray always helps like literally always helps like you know those girls who use like spritz on their lace wigs yeah it kind of I never use spritz but I would assume it does the same thing by melting it in anyways here I am using this like razor um, comb a razor comb to cut the edges to get them the length I always cut them longer than they need to be so I have room to like you know do the edges because if you cut them too short then you know there's no going back I take my baby bless um, pro titanium plated flat iron whoa 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 um, to curl the edges back I know people use like those little tiny flat irons but um who has the money for that and i don't even know where i'd even get one of those to start because I, I hear they're like really for only for professional people and i ain't no professional but here i am just curling the edges back and i you know razor some excess off look at that curl y'all look at that um i also use some tresme um hold mousse um same same line as the hairspray basically and I lay, or at least try to lay that down, because I always try to do the mousse thing, but I eventually always going to go to a got to be. So in a second, you'll see me um, smooth down some got to be. I mean, you don't see me put it on, but I just put some got to be on the edges, and look, it's it's finally laying down. So yeah, and then I go in and cut the excess hair off, and then I did the other side, and um, we're we're just chilling we're almost finished okay y'all and then i put a scarf onto the edges to lay them down i put an elastic band set that down and while that's um laying down and getting all stuck to my gorgeous gorgeous skin i take this wax stick by this company that um came in a kit with like a wig kit kind of with lace glue lace glue remover its own elastic bands and its own like edge brushes and all that yeah I take that put that on the top of the head flat iron that down with a bristled brush and the flat iron so it gets like real 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 flat and then i take you know the, the scarf off everything's laid everything's nice but this wig you know this wig is not even tangled really and then i get a close up and you know sometimes like little hairs like the littlest tiniest hairs will get stuck to the forehead anyways i cut those off i didn't show you all that but i cut those off um, here's me just trying to get the top of the wig as flat as possible because it was just looking weird to me. So I, I even went in and like straightened it. It was just looking weird. I don't know what was going on. Um, but yeah, and then I straightened that, you know, try to flatten it down as it cooled. Um, and then on the, I'll show you this in a second, but like on the like part of the wig, you could see that my wig cap wasn't like on all the way kind of stuff like you could see it and then so i had to cover it with makeup but um yeah so here i'm just brushing the wig y'all see the way it's just gliding through crazy i mean obviously it's gonna snag a little bit at the ends because it's a synthetic wig and i've worn it like three times but it, it like barely sheds y'all it barely sheds and i know i sound crazy because like this wig is long and you know long synthetic wigs tend to shed a lot but you don't really see thinning because it is such a thick like wig this wig is long thick rarely sheds is easy to brush and like glide through with the curls bounce back like crazy even after you brush it it's wild like it's a good it's a good wig like maybe if I cut my lace correctly the first time I wore this wig, I wouldn't have trouble laying down the wig. But like, see y'all, look at that brush. Barely, you can't even see, you can't even see. There's probably like a few strands. 
this is me just showing you how long this wig is it goes down to my torso and i feel like if i stretched it enough it'd go down to my butt it reaches like the top of my butt um but yeah mainly torso yeah look at that y'all it's like a it's like a cute little body wave thing going on and the curls like they do their own i wouldn't say do their own thing they don't go crazy but like they curl up even if you brush them they don't go flat and it's beautiful this is me like the next day um that's why there's such a camera difference but i just wanted to show y'all what it would look like this is me after going three hours of school so treacherous actually um that was my fit really cute fit i mean you don't have to think it's cute but i think it's cute but look at the curls they bounced back they still look nice and uh yeah this is me with my glasses that's how i go to school with my glasses cute 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 um yeah but thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye